What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Lil Clay Clay. So right now I'm about to ride with my mom to go and take my two nephews back to eat back to Eden. Um, hopefully I'll get to see my brother Hunter again. Um, and then me and my mom are gonna go to the store to go shopping um, to get me a sleeping bag and a few other things um, because today is the day before I leave for camp. My mom's gonna bring me a suitcase. Um, and then, oh, let me first put my glasses in their case. Um, I always like to keep my glasses with me. I actually just, in case my contacts break, and I actually just took my, put my contacts in because I first, I think, had almost forgotten that um, I was going somewhere, but also I figured I'll just keep them on and put my contacts in when it's time to go. Where is my glasses case? Did I put it in here? There it is. But yeah, so I used to wear my contacts like all the time when I got them. I didn't like to wear my glasses unless I had to, unless my, unless I ran out of contacts or I'm just waking up or getting ready to go to bed. But now I wear my contacts and my gla glasses quite evenly. I will, if I'm going somewhere or about to go somewhere, that's why I put my contacts in. I will, especially like work, something like that, I will put my contacts in. But if I'm going home and then don't really plan on going anywhere unless I need to make, unless maybe I want to go get a quick bite to eat and, um, or if just make a quick stop to dodge, quick trip to Dollar General, something like that, then I will wear my glasses, then I'll just keep my glasses on, and I also have a pair of shades that I wore, that I sometimes put over my sun, my glasses, so that way I don't have to wear any sunglasses over them, because I never like doing that, I had some that you could go over them, but I lost them, so when I ordered these, I wanted to make sure they were either dimmers, or could get some clip-on shades, um, and, um, I got a funny story, so, I was at my um, aunt's church in Virginia during a festival that my mom and a few friends were going to sing at, and I was, um, I had my sunglasses on, but for some reason I almost thought I was wearing my glasses, so I put the shades over them, and it was like that for a quick minute until I realized I didn't have, these weren't my glasses, they were my sunglasses, but um, anyway... Hope you enjoyed this very long intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Lil Clay Clay and I have high functioning autism. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this video. All right, so it's the next day and I am now getting ready to go to camp. Um, I still need to think for a few things in my bag, but I have my pillow I'm gonna put a case on and then I've got my clothes packed and everything and then we went to the store yesterday and I didn't film because Jackson and Jaden were asleep. Um, that's why I didn't show my nephews and we were only going to be there for a bit. But um, these are some of the toiletries we got at the store along with my deodorant, my mouthwash, and body spray. We also got some bug spray. There's also some special itch lotion I'm going to get. I mean, I'm going to take with me. These are some of the snacks my mom got me. I also got me some mints. Uh, and then these here, so my church is doing donations for Hurricane Helene. So this is... Right now, this is being filmed. This is about this is around the time where they start doing donations. So I'm giving up some of my shoes um, and then some clothes as well. So, um, so yeah, my heart goes out to anyone who was impacted. If you're watching this video, and just remember, God is with you, right, everyone. So we are now on the way. I got. I think we just put in the rock. Got him with Hunter. Cause I'm not seeing any. Address. We got David in the back. David, say hi. So, we just chill. We're all on our way to the camping site. Um, so I think we're going to stop and get something to eat. Um, it's my first time actually camping at a campsite, so I'm really excited. Um, and I also have a funny story. So, a couple of our friends' dog, like, he wanted to, I think he wanted to come with us because he got in his in my friend's sister's truck, uh, Matthew, and he would not come out. Like, I don't know what they did to get him out, but it was hilarious. Anyway, off we go. Very excited. 
Stopping to get something to eat. What is smokeless tobacco? How stupid is that? Train! Sounds like the Amtrak. Oh yeah, I like cigars. You all good thinking? Huh? I thought, I thought... How many? I'll go next week. Stand in one line to reach All right, so... We dad. just pulled up at the campground. Well, um, I got mine like. And so two right now we're ago. trying to get a fire to light. And we got we the, Matthew and Jalen trying to make Matthew's cutting wood for the fire, and Jalen, yeah. the who is also a firefighter, is lighting. Yep, it's starting the fire. Do you know how to put it out, right? Oh, I got a water bottle pack and like all the snacks. I got some other swag. Is that like that? Cold bag or like a box? Yeah, just cooler coat. Oh wow. This is crazy. Up and it's starting to rain. No, I think it's just from the leaves. Hey, oh. Yeah, it's just from the leaves. So apparently all generators have to be off by 10 p.m. So like, what are people gonna do if they live in campers for electricity? That's what I wanna know. I mean, I, I know a lot of campers have batteries, so. Yeah. And people who come camping here with Oh, with, um, uh, with their trailers and campers. I'll probably know that. Yeah. Start burning, fire burning, fire burning on the dance floor. Burning, fire burning on the dance floor. I wonder if it's lit. It's like a mini cool. Alright, y'all. So we are now about to go and go get our toiletries and go use the bathroom. And then we're going to head to bed. We're just cleaning up our little area here. We played a little game. It actually was really fun. Um, I normally take showers in the morning, but everyone, I think we're all going to go ahead and go. Hopefully, we don't get busted because technically it's past 10 a.m. I mean, p.m. and. Around 10 p.m. That's when quiet hours start, and they actually have a really crazy rule, which is you not only do you have to be quiet at 10 p.m., but you, all generators have to be off. So, um, anyway, all right, we're all going about fixing to go, so I'm gonna stop recording so I do not get left behind. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, Still in our tents, just relaxing. Got up around six. Cause that was that was the time David was gonna get up. I think he's still asleep. I hear a few of the guys out there. I just don't wanna leave David by himself. So, but um, actually slept pretty good last night. Um, it was the first time sleeping in a tent. It almost feels like they're like, you're not in a tent, like, for one brief second because I woke up. Like, I almost forgot that I was a tent in a tent before I fell back asleep. I think today we're going to do, I think it's coffee, then breakfast and devotional, or is it devotional and breakfast, I don't know, and then got a few activities we're going to do. Um, there's somebody's out here walking. Don't know who that is. Probably Matthew or Becca or someone. Alright, so just went up here to use the bathroom but I'm also fending for my life because there is a hornet in here. I do not like hornets. Um, but anyway, as you can see right up there, I'm not going to get real close because I don't want to get stung, but I 
just thought I'd show everyone the bathroom and shower area. Let's see if they got the lights on today. I guess that. I guess we were just debating on whether or not they're on a timer or demo or stuff like that. Because when I went in here to take a shower last night, all the regular lights are on, but these ones weren't. Yeah, I took a shower last night because I thought that's what we were all doing, and I knew this place was going to be full once we. Oh, I love this. I'm glad I came up here. I got to off my towel. I don't think the heaters work either. Nope. But I have these really small shower heads, and this bathroom isn't the cleanest. Um, yes, and there's that. I'm gonna get the heck up out of here because I do not want to get stuck by that hornet. Just thought I'd show everyone. Um, uh, kind of show everyone. I don't think I really filmed most of it. I'll go one more time just to show you guys. I'm hoping that my camera doesn't die because I don't have another charger that I can use. just me and David that are awake. Um, and as you can, and then Hunter, he's awake as well. And then as you can probably hear behind me, there's a few other people who are camping here that are awake. Um, I'm actually just now seeing what the camp area really looks like because we came here, it was already getting dark, like almost pitch black so we couldn't really see what the camp area looks like but it's actually really pretty um i think right now it's gonna be um it's gonna be um coffee then breakfast like i said earlier and all that but i'm gonna head back to the fire pit where david and hunter are hunter are so um yep this is how we're making coffee today. Um, actually pretty cool. He's got it heating up on the, the grill over there. And that kettle is boiling water and then you pour it into the thing and make the surround all in circles. It's kind of cool. But yep. We got half and half around here somewhere. Got a nice fire going over there. <laughs> we're good. What's up y'all? So we now we cooking the bacon. We got Matthew and Jalen cooking on the bacon. Jalen's also kind of supervising. He's a firefighter. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that smoke be clearing and stuff. And then we also gonna be cooking pancakes. It's less caffeinated though. Mm -hmm. We got the. Uh, we got the pancake batter right here. Be All right, so now we're going hiking. Snug in Matthew's pickup truck. Looking around at all the, all the, all the, the beautiful campsite and all the beautiful tents and stuff like that. Ooh, they got a big camper. Fifth wheel is a camp post.
Jalen is literally beating us right now at the height. Oh, <laughs> We're just out here on a hike at Hanging Rock and come along with us. <laughs> transition to the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, transition. This is actually really beautiful. Hey guys, you should wait for the rest. Oh, there's a bench. <laughs> Can we wait for them here at this rock? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Let's uh. We'll actually wait. Oh, wait and. Yeah, yeah. Hey vlog, we made it here ish, and yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. Oh yeah. Having the best time, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I almost was ahead of everyone for a second. Had a bit of a. Oh yeah. Had a bit of a moment, but I got through it. This is what I have. Oh, and there's honey too. Good snacks. Oh, oh, you want. Who took the trail mixes? <laughs> Finally made it. Is there enough room for everyone to get back? It was worth it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God, for this beautiful view. I pray one day when I can see the true mountain of heaven. This was so worth it. <laughs> this beautiful view of the mountain. Finally made it, Chris. I know, man. I was listening to a bunch of stories from Matthew. Oh, really? Come on. Yeah. Are we doing Ty? What? Psych? Honor? I had a bit of a moment, but, you know, I got through it. Yeah. Just because, like, I have autism, so, like, I sometimes might have, like, anxiety attacks. But, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> over there but I couldn't film much because like I was literally standing on rocks and I did not want to fall. Um, this is definitely my first time on an actual hike that's not with the elementary school trip so nothing babyish this time but um, uh, probably not something I would do like all the time would definitely if it was going on a trip with friends it would definitely be worth it. it makes me glad to be an athlete. It makes me glad God gave me the strength to see God's beautiful creation. But yeah. Also let's give a hand to It's all for the camera for me. <laughs> here the sandwich. I had a few moments, but I got through it, you know. It shows me that I got friends that will care about me and understand me. But yep. Yay. And this is our view. <laughs> here you go. Thank you. <laughs> This is an exhibit hall that I found. Um, it's kind of a nice little area. Hopefully I don't get fussed at for filming in here. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to, but and hopefully. Hopefully I don't need to pay to go in here. I didn't see anything, but the lady didn't say anything to me when I walked in here. I like these little still picture of this raccoon. I don't know what this is. 
Yes. Oh, okay. What's oh, uh yeah, I am not mess with this. Um so magnifying glass so you can look at the Whoa. That is actually really creepy. Mr. Coyote. Um, so kind of there's Helen calls. Kind of there's coyotes up here. Hello. Kind of there's bears out here too. Okay, so I'm gonna real quick look around through here. I think this is kind of near where I was. Really pretty. I love the trees and stuff. Kind of see the old exhibit area here we got. I also got a travel mug. Right. Go ahead and head back. This is the uh, travel mug I got. You can see like through the bag. Still for me. Right. And y'all can't really see it well. I just want to go ahead and head back so because I know Alex and everyone is waiting for me. Thank God they just want to hang out here. Well, can I walk back here or? Can I? Oh, yep, I can. I'm hoping this is the. Yeah, it is. Tour. All right. So I just completely stopped that. I knew it. I knew we were gonna do it. But I really. Are we vlogging? Yeah. Nice. Alright, so we are now about to go in for a little walk around the campground. Just look at all the campers. I don't know if I'll film. I'm actually not going to film the campers just because of people that are in them. Because we don't want to bother anyone. Um, but just doing a little walk. Um, I just, um, not too long ago, took the coldest shower of my life. And... <laughs> I remember talking to God because it honestly made me feel bad for the people who might be here because of Helene because all they want to do is take a shower and this when they think they're going to have a nice batch of hot water poured all over them unfortunately it's not going to happen so my heart goes out to them if they're watching this and I love y'all and be safe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> okay, so we're just getting close to the... I actually saw some cabin, cabins. I might try to film when we go back. Um, one. Um, What's observation tower? Is that like, like is it 1.2 there, 1.2 back? Yes. Um, if I see some... Um, yeah, they do have cabins, which, despite all the bugs, I wouldn't mind sleeping in there if it's just two nights, but I'm not going to complain. I'm here on a trip so t with friends, so it's at no cabin. I don't care where I sleep. Um, I'm at the campground, and there's people out here, so I'm not going to film the campers just because some of the people, this is their home, so... I don't want to upset anyone or bother anyone. So, one of them actually has a TV on the outside. Um, 
here is the once again wheel about the generators right over there all generators must be off after 10 p.m. I think it's kind of babyish because I heard someone running the generator right here it's they're really not that loud but um, I guess maybe this campsite got tired of people being babies about it so it's not out of their hands but don't know what we were looking at I came so I came here just came back here a few minutes ago and just started here chilling and the craziest thing just happened so the girls are going crazy um, the girls both Becca and Anna what were you guys eating earlier Becca what were you guys eating earlier Oh. But then I spit it out. And then oh. she tried to feed it to me. So. Oh. And it's melting on the log now. Yeah. She ain't mind you, Becca. To a firefighter who serves this country. Right? <laughs> Imagine calling each other by their career names. Like, oh, just that one or do I get the other I'm not a just I'm gassed up for days now. <laughs> <laughs> So, pancakes are done. I'm pancakes for breakfast. I have one somebody eating their food. A few people I left early yesterday. Um, so it's just us. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So the rest of us, eight people. Um, this was definitely. This is definitely a fun weekend, and I'm really excited, and I'm really looking forward to it again. Um, really, really brought me closer to Jesus, because we get closer to him every day.
All right, so now we're, we're just all packing the trucks, and then I think we may or may not do one more like devotional, or whatever. We may not, I, but um, we're just as you can see, the fire is still going out, and how we're gonna put it out, but um, yeah, all the trucks are loaded. I think I'm gonna be riding in Matthew's truck this time, so anyway. Actually, um, I'm sad that we're leaving, but I'm really glad I got to come. Like I said, this really did, like, sorry. Um, yeah, this really was definitely worth it. Um, this has brought me even more closer to God and really reminded me that I have people who I can count on that love me if I have a problem. That I need something specific. Like, talk, I need to talk about with something with someone specifically. Like, these are the people. All right, so now everyone's getting all this stuff together. We just finished, like, we kind of closed off in, like, worship and prayer. So now we're about to pack it up and hit the road. Right now I think they're putting up all the, everyone's stuff and all the camping equipment. And then we're going to do the tents, and that's going to be really fun. So, but yeah, um, we already just cleaned out the tents this morning. Um, there's the tent that me and... David slept in. I never really got to show you guys because it was dark. And never got any time to. But it was a really small tent. But surprisingly, it was actually really spacious. And even if it wasn't, like it's just for two nights. So you know who cares. Um. But like last night, like as I was trying to fall asleep, there were people walking around like with flashlights. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And. Later on, there were these kids, like, making noise, and I thought, that is so rude. Like, like, I get it, they're trying to have fun, but, you know, you gotta be mindful of other people, but yep, I'm just gonna see whatever I can do to help, and yeah. What's, alright, y'all, so now I am home, um, so, um, I was going to... Um, I was gonna kind of tell us like why as we were leaving the camp, but I was trying to help Hunter who Ended up taking me home instead of Matthew. i um, trying to type in the address because he was also kind enough to stop by and get and Let me and him get something to eat um, And I ended and I decided that I would pay out pay for my own food um, As my gratitude for that um, But anyway, um, I am now back home like I said, um there were a couple things that happened, so actually just one thing. So as we were getting ready to leave, like I think the hosts, I think it was a super who I think may or may not have been the camp hosts, like the people who like help take care of the camp, make sure everything, everyone's going by the rules and all that. I don't know for certain. I think that's what they were. But they were really, 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 really kind. They were um, just as we were packing up to leave, they stopped and said, hey, how are you guys doing? And they said how they really loved um, when they were driving by and listening to us worship. And one of the lady even said that she kind of got into it, I think, the first time or the night, the first night that we came, when we came, we started worshiping because um, she just said it really warmed her heart. Um, and that kind of made me happy um, to know that we're not just, and know that um, we're not just bringing ourselves close to God. But there are times where we don't realize it, where we even bring other people close to God. Um, and I want to encourage everyone, like, if you ever like hear like a sound of worship or notice it, and like you suddenly get into it then just keep let it flow like don't be afraid to hide it um don't be afraid to not be who you are um um but anyway um i'm gonna go ahead it is now 2 24 p.m in the afternoon i'm gonna finish up my mcdonald's chicken nuggets and then i'm gonna lay i'm just gonna sit and watch tv for a couple of hours maybe just relax a little since i just got home and um, and, uh, um, then I'm gonna cook me some dinner, probably some spaghetti. Uh, my cat apparently is 
already trying to get my attention because she missed me so much. What are you doing? What are you doing? We were going to go to church, but we ended up, I don't think we would have had a lot of time. Because I think the service, the afternoon service ends at 12, or late service really. I think it ends at 1 or 12.30, I don't really know to be honest, but anyway. I'm home now, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys!